Welcome back to McCarthy Performance. Today we're working on the uh, dart block, small block shovel A. This is going to be a roller engine, solid, uh, drag racing pretty much only, I believe. Um, so we got these screen, well, these areas here we can glue screens in or put screens in here. And um, because, you know, we're concerned about the valve train, mostly springs. Don't need anything falling down into the cam. And so, I'm going to make up some little stacks. And then I'm going to utilize the uh, OEM type spider hold down for the hydraulic roller lifters to hold these down. And what I got going on is I think I'm going to make up some of these little stacks. So I got one made up and then I'll put a tab on it. It'll hold this one and then they'll all hold down. It's maybe a kind of a little bit of screwing around, but it also slows down the oil. I could pot these with epoxy and then hold them down. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I guess I haven't got that far yet in my thinking on it, but uh, the back ones I'm going to leave part of the back open with screen so the oil can go back here, can drain back here. Um, I've put a hole here in the block, two of them, to the front cover so oil can drain back there. So that's kind of my thinking on it and uh, I'm going to get going on making these. So this is kind of the plan on this. I'm going to put a plate across here and that'll be bolted here. So I got a stack here and I'm using these basically vent stacks. So it's going to let the engine vent and it's going to allow oil to get back into the crankcase. I've got screen in the front one. Um, the next one I'll make this the back one. Uh, these things are kind of asymmetrical. They could be a little nicer, but you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time on them, so much time that the customer ain't going to want to pay me. And I've got other things in the shop, so, and ultimately, in the end, there'll be an intake on it. So, it's going to serve the purpose. I'm not a big fan of epoxy and screens and engines, because in the past, I've never had a problem with them getting into the engine. But I've seen them all stacked up in the back of the engine after a few years, like a can of uh, Pringle potato chips. Um, and so I'm not a big fan of epoxy. If I can screw something down and hold it and uh, use Loctite or uh, something like that. Now these, I may uh, get them to fit just a little bit better. They fit pretty darn tight. I might just leave them go like that or maybe mix up a little 
JB Weld and just kind of push them down into it, bolt them down. It'll keep them from probably moving around a little bit. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Once I weld a plate across here and I bolt this down, it'll probably be more than fine. Have the screen kit all welded up. Probably going to do a little tuning on it. Uh, not much. It's pretty much set to go. Um, and the theory behind all this is, is I want to keep the oil from getting on the counterweights of the center of the crank. We're letting the oil drain back here. And I'm going to modify this one. I'll put a screen on the back of this one. I got... Uh, <clears throat> and a little bit of a rush, and I just uh, welded it complete, but I'm going to uh, trim the back off it, put a little bit of screen there so there is some drain back. Well, why did I do it this way? Well, sometimes I do things just because I want to do them. Um, would there have been an easier, quicker way? There's an always a quicker way to do things. Uh, easiest stain always the best. Um so this is kind of what I did on this small block. Uh, could have been up something and just let the oil drain back. But I know the guy that owns this engine, and I know he likes to really run them hard. And uh, the oil beating off the crank ain't going to do anybody any favors. So that's kind of my theory on that. It still vents. You can vent through the top. If any material happens to fall down there, the screen will stop it. Um, could I have just put stacks on here and left this open? I probably could have, but I uh, had to screen, and uh, that's kind of how I did it, and that's the way it's going to be. So, thanks for watching.